The Toner BM700 is pretty much identical to the Neewer NW700 microphone, which I did an audio test compared to this Shure SM58 microphone just last time I uploaded a video. Can you tell the difference between the two? What's up, everybody? This is Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media, and I'm here to do a quick, really quick audio test between the Toner BM700 and the Shure SM58 legendary vocal microphone. Yes, after all the microphone tests that I did, you can find something here, or you can find something there, or at the end of this video, I'll put some links in the description. These videos are not sponsored, but I wanted to check out these other microphones, these cheap microphones. These microphones here, all the ones that I purchased were 25 bucks, $20 or less. The only one that cost more was the toner, but that was because it came with a complete kit. It came with everything you need. Phantom power, desk mounted arm, uh, pop filter, um, USB audio uh, interface. I mean, it came with everything. XLR cables, the whole shebang, everything that you need. So that why, that's why it was more expensive, but I'm sure, uh, considering that these microphones are all identical, probably come from the same manufacturer, they all cost about the same, anywhere from 15 bucks to 11 bucks. I paid 11 bucks for my other microphone, which I'll record in the next video. But for right now, we're focused on this guy right here. And this microphone right here is the Shure SM58 legendary audio microphone. Does my voice so finally sound better? Is my audio finally on point? Or should I stick with my shotgun mics? What do you guys prefer? I've been doing a lot of studying and you know, I've been working on my, my lighting, make sure my videos are good. I'm happy with my video lighting. I finally got that spot, that's done. And some people say bad quality video, with uh, superior quality audio makes it acceptable. I don't agree with that. I want my video quality to be good and I want my audio quality to be especially good because I want you guys to hear me clearly and I wanna sound like me without having to do a whole bunch of equalization, equalizing and, and post-processing. I wanna sound like myself. So does the Shure sound like me? I mean, for those who know me or those who've been following me in my other videos, can you tell the difference? How does this toner mic sound in comparison to the Shure mic? What's up, everybody? It's Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media. What's up, everybody? It's Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media. Which one sounds better to you guys? Matter of fact, I'm going to stand back, keep a little distance between the two. Both microphones are pretty much side by side, same height. I could raise the uh, toner just a little bit if I want it. Just, just a bit. Okay, now they're pretty much identical height. Can you tell the difference between the two? Does the toner sound that much better? Or does the Shure sound that much better? I know they both sound better than the G50 built-in, uh, the Canon G50 built-in uh, microphone. I know that's we're beyond that. If you've been watching this series, you see I did a lot of comparisons with these microphones directly to my Canon G50. But with these two side by side, the Toner BM700, does it sound really good? Especially for the price point. Or does the Shure live up to the legendary status? I'm willing to bet my money. This is a blind test. I'm willing to bet my money that the Shure sounds that much better. But is it night and day? Is it to the point where you're like, I spent 15 bucks and this microphone sounds like 15 bucks. I spent 89 bucks. Does this microphone sound like 89 bucks? I don't know. I'm just talking just so you guys can try to sit quietly and listen to my voice on both microphones and see which one sounds better to you. But that's enough talking for now. Hopefully, I hope helped you make an informed decision. Unfortunately for me, these weren't sponsored, but that's okay because I wanted to upgrade my audio anyway so that you guys could hear me clearly on these good microphones. So, this is Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media, and I'll see you guys in the next video.